Hi friends, it's Robin with Pale Bird Designs, and welcome back to Back to Basics Bootcamp Tumblr Edition, where me and two other amazing artists are teaching you all the best tips, tricks, and tumbler making secrets. This week, we're talking about water marbling. I'm going to be using the Marabou water marbles, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to do it. So I start by uncapping all of my bottles and using my hand to make my water kind of spin in a circle so the paints mix themselves. And then I'm gonna really quickly sprinkle all three of my colors and a little bit more of the clear at the end so I get a couple holes, as you'll see me doing here. And then I'm gonna quickly go into my dip. So that whole process takes me about 30 to 45 seconds because this stuff does dry really fast. I like to use water that is a little warmer than room temperature and it works for me pretty much every time if I do it like that because I'm skipping the step where I have to go in and stir the inks with a stick and I let the water do the work for me and it gives you that really cool spirally look all the way up your cup. So I'm going to do it again in a second with a second cup and I didn't say it before uh, receipts work the best for pulling the excess off. This one's a paper towel because I was out of receipts, but I found receipt paper works the best for pulling that stuff off. And my favorite ways to dip are with a prepped tumbler from the Steel Magnolia or a powdered coated tumbler from Craft Haven or a tumbler that I have already glittered and epoxied like the first cup I did. So the first cup was glittered with a holographic glitter and then epoxied. So if I didn't like my dip, I can go in with acetone and it comes right off, which I'll show you later as well. So for the second cup, I'm using these metallics. I'm almost out of clear, which is why I was struggling with that one so bad. And I forgot to stir my water. So I'm going to do that really quick <laughs> and get all that extra ink out of the way, which is now on my fingers. But now, back with the paper towel, stir my water up so it moves itself and mixes those colors together. And we're going to go in with these metallic dips that I haven't tried yet that are super pretty. So just a couple of sprinkles of each of them. You can see that the water is stirring itself and mixing. And I'm going to go in with my Prepped Junior, do a quick dip while slightly rotating the cup as well. Shake it so you don't pick up excess on the way out, and you get a nice swirl all the way up the cup. Once those are done, uh, I had some water speckles on my cup, which if you dip with water speckles on the cup, it'll give you that kind of effect, and I think it's kind of cool, but I didn't mean to do it, but it's a good thing to show. So you're going to want to let these dry completely. Uh, I usually do my dips last and then just let them sit overnight. And then you're gonna wanna spray coat them with uh, just like a clear spray paint before you epoxy. I'm gonna add a decal to this one. So we can have a fully finished cup. Just press it in. So this is with the hydrode, I let it dry overnight. I sprayed it with clear spray paint, let that dry completely. And then I added my decal. And then we're going to go ahead and epoxy this. Same way we always do. Nice, even, thin coat. All over your tumbler. Another thing I really like about the Hydro Dip, so you can see on this cup, this is glittered with that silver holographic on the bottom and you can see through it and even where the Marabou ink is, you can see the glitter coming through because it's not fully trans or it's not fully opaque. It's a little bit transparent, so you get a really pretty sparkle all over your cup with those extra colors. And then for that second cup we dipped, we're going to show you how easy it is to take off. So with the prep dip cups or the cups that you have glittered and epoxied, a little bit of acetone takes this right off. If you're using spray paint, the acetone will take the spray paint off as well, but the prep cups from the Steel Magnolia, 
and the epoxy cups, it comes right off. So it's super easy to redo your dips if you don't like how it came out the first time. And that's all for this week. I hope something I said helped you. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, friends.